Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In today's video, we are going to set up OpenVBN client with OpenWRT Lucy. And I believe that by searching for this video, you should already know what is OpenVBN, right? It is open source software that allows us to create a secure point-to-point or side-to-side VPN with different types of authentication such as pre-shared secret key certificates or username and password. And let's have a look in our network topology here. Alright, so this is the connection when we are running the normal way. So this is your open VPN server somewhere on the internet. And this is your end device, this is your PC or your laptop or your smartphone. And in order to connect to this VPN server, you need to run an open VPN client on each of your device. And every time you have to manually connect to it, right? By following this tutorial, you are going to set up an open VPN client on your OpenWRT router. So you are going to create a connection between your OpenVPN server and this OpenWRT router. So every time your device connected to this router, it will be automatically in the same network with your OpenVPN server. And it will have you to manage your device or to secure your network. And I think that's all about the interaction. So let us just jump right into the tutorial. All right, so the very first step, let's log into our router. And I am running OpenWRT in D-Link DIRA42C2. So it is powered by the QCA956X socket. According to this OpenVPN performance charge, we see that the limitation for this socket is 17 megabit. If you are looking for a good OpenVPN support router, then I would recommend that you follow this guy. Maybe this IPQA06X or you can build an OpenVPN router with your old CPU hardware. Or if it's possible, you can build an x86 PC and install OpenWRT on it. And if you have the Intel IEX support, you can reach to 500 megabit to put, which is quite good. Let's go back to open WRT Lucy's and install OpenVPN. Before setting up OpenVPN, let me show you the current public IP address and it is 113.210.92.58 and the internet service provider is Max6, right? So it is currently located in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And then let's navigate to system shop where to install our package. The very first step, we need to update the list, right? And after that, we need to install openvpn open ssl and Lucy app openvpn. So we're going to install one by one. Copy that and go back to Lucy and wait for the package database updated. And don't worry, I will put the OpenVPN documentation in the description so you can have a check on it on the command. All right, so we're done and click Dismiss. And let's search for our package, OpenVPN SSL, and then install. If you see some of the error messages saying that the kernel is not compatible, then you may need to update your OpenVPN software by looking for the table of hardware and find the latest version for your router. The first package has been successfully installed and let's install the second package which is Lucy App OpenVPN. This package will allow you to configure your OpenVPN client or servers in Lucy. 
and if you are going to configure it via the command line then you don't need this package but we are going to configure via lucy so we need this and when we done click dismiss and then log out from lucy right after that log in back and we will see a new menu here which is open vpn look ray so here we have some of the basic configuration template had been made for us let's say custom config sample server and sample client so let's have a check on the sample client we have some of the information like the client the remote and this will be your open vpn server information and this is where you upload your certificate file or your key file and your protocol or you can add a custom like port or if config or secret and all the stuff right but i have already my ovpn configuration file so i am going to upload this so go ahead and click browse and select my open vpn configuration file and then give it a name after that click upload all right, so we will try to start the connections. For some of the OpenWRT version, it will be failed to start the VPN connection by click this start button. Then you can click on the enable button. And after that, click save and apply to start the connections. And we see that the connection had been started. Once we're done, let's navigate to network interface to create our tunnel. And then click on add new interface. The name will be tune zero. The protocol unmanage. And the interface we will see a Ethernet adapter tuner zero here. Select it, click create interface. For all the tab, we just leave it alone until this file was set thing. We need to assign it to the one zone. If you forget this step, you will not be able to connect it to the internet. When we done, click save and apply. We see there are some packets passing by the tunnels and let's do a trade route to check if the VPN connection is working. So let's navigate to network diagnostics and do a trade route. And we see that the packet is still passing by our one interface here. So the open VPN connection will not really start it. And in some of the open WRT shop where we have this problem, and a fix for that would be restarting the router. So let's navigate to system, reboot, and give it a hit. I will start a cmd command and check for the router. The router is up and let's log into it. And let's go to network interfaces to have a check on our interface. And we see that there are some package passing by the tuner. Let's have a check on the public IP. Speak tag. Right, so we see that the public IP had been changed to 14.250.189.253 and this is an IP address inside Vietnam. So let me run a speed test and boom. The speed is not really good because we have some limitations with the socket, but it's fine. So let's go back to open VPNs and have a check on the network trade route and let's do a trade route to openwrt.org all right so we see the traffic passing to our open vpn server and it's go to the internet which is good 
And beside that, you can still check some of the log on OpenWRT via status system log. And just go over here, you will see there are some open VPN log here and whether we have some successful connection or not, it will be all showing up here, right? We have just successfully configured open VPN client with OpenWRT. And if you have any questions or any idea, feel free to leave it in the comment sections. I will try my best to check all of it and assist you as soon as possible. Once again, thanks for watching. And if you see the video is helpful, please like, share and subscribe to the channel to support me. Thanks and see you all in the next video. Bye bye.